top story at five, the arrest of a man whose father led the county Republican Party for 14 years. According to the San Diego County Sheriff's Office, Victor Kavarik was jailed on a weapons charge. ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shaheen went to his neighborhood today and spoke directly with his father. This quiet suburban neighborhood in Scripps Ranch was disturbed by multiple sheriff cars and deputies Thursday, making an arrest that caused neighbors to question their safety. They say they've never seen anything like it. On Thursday morning, San Diego County Sheriff's deputies arrested 24-year-old Victor Kavarik. Jail records obtained by ABC 10 News show the son of former San Diego County GOP Chair Tony Kavarik was arrested for allegedly possessing an assault weapon. The FBI says it worked alongside the San Diego County Sheriff's Office to serve a search warrant at this Scripps Ranch home. 99% is a safe place. Neighbors tell ABC 10 News they were shocked to see law enforcement on the street. Street. This woman I spoke with says there was a neighborhood dinner last week where they visited each other's homes. I never, yeah, imagine it that, because they are all nice people, friendly. The details surrounding the arrest made this family uneasy. Hearing about that, it just you know begs the question: How safe are we? And you know, could that person potentially be, uh, you know? A dangerous to uh, threat to us, exactly. According to property records, Tony Kavarik and his wife are listed as the owners of the home where the arrest took place. The family reached out to ABC 10 News to share this statement, saying, quote, our family is going through a difficult time and ask that our privacy be respected. As a father, I wish that the children of former public figures could experience life privately like everyone else. I asked the sheriff's office for more details about the arrest. A representative responded saying this was an ongoing investigation and no other information is being released at this time. Victor Kavarik's bail was set at $25,000 and he was released shortly after 8.30 p.m. Thursday. He's expected to be in court late next week. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News.